Hello. It's uh it's a factory night. Oh. Oh, the bot. Hello, the bot. It was supposed to make a do 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 and it didn't. Pretend it did. Ow. 26 months. Almost. But not quite. Yeah, exactly. I got a I got a fun new thing for the soundboard tonight. It's exactly what you think. That's it. That's all it is. I should, I should have added the, the hey Peter. Just so we could uh, really complete it. Alright, so this mess. Ooh, the plane does it just stays Oh yeah, I need to take out auto-targeting. There's so many pages! Okay, one thing I would really like to correct in this is, uh, hey, Peter. It's a good sound. Uh, I don't know if I should bother with this now, but we're gonna we're just gonna keep running out of containers. It's just gonna keep happening. And I don't know of a great way to fix that. So one possible method, which is really probably a bad idea. We could Okay. So This whole, this whole top line here, where we filter it out, we could just not do the splitting and just make it sushi. So that we just have like two stack inserters right up against the main line so that it tries its best to just catch as much as it can of the correct amount. It doesn't even have to be filter inserters. It can just be regular stack inserters because it'll only put things in if they are needed for the recipe. What did I just... Why do I have all this cobalt crust? There we go. So, like, that's an option, and that gives us an extra lane that we could use. <sighs> yes, I, ideally, the main boat that comes by to pick up the supplies, like the boxed crates, also manages the empty crates. I'm a little bit worried about that, because I don't want I don't want the ship to get like filled with crates and I don't know how to properly manage that exactly I guess it would be something like for every crate that we take off of the ship put on one empty crate I think that would work like that there's no reason that shouldn't work at least for these guys right here. This mess with the batteries, where we're actually doing unloading, that one's a little bit of an issue, but we lose less crates. The, the loss isn't as big an issue on that one, because it's just one. So if, let's say, we moved this main line down by one tile and, and delivered straight to these, and instead... See, somehow we have an we have some empty crates running around on this. I just don't know where. Like I'm pretty sure that we don't need this third or this yeah, this third uh, chemical plant at all. I'm gonna take that out for now and just see what happens. I'm just gonna cr 
cross our fingers and see if it keeps up. If it does, that gives us a lot more room for battery management. I should really be starting on the TNT. But I think the whole reason I was doing this was I wanted to know what the, th what the throughput is on these supplies here, on the actual cobalt, so I could know how much TNT we need to be producing. Because a as it stands, we just don't know. Um, let's see, explosives are made of, oh no, T uh, it's sulfur and coal. Sulfur is fine, but coal, uh, like we can get it down here, but I'm worried about the throughput. Like, if we upgraded this to a red belt, then, gosh, we're, we could be eating up a lot of coal. Which we were hoping to use for plastics, and only plastics. That coal patch is not getting any bigger. Um, okay, but somehow, somehow we're going to be getting coal. Maybe we ship in coal or something. I don't know. How's our science looking? What do we what do we lack right now? Green. Oh, that's probably iron, isn't it? Um, that is indeed iron. Uh -huh. That's fine. That's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, we've only got two red belts that we're passing in worth of iron. Oh no, one spilled off the plate. That's terrible. Anyway, I don't think we can get iron any faster as it stands. Jeez, that's a lot of empty crates. That doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I imagine it used to. Huh. It's a little weird. Hey, Peter. <laughs> it's funny because, haha. <laughs> um. Okay. So how's this work? Oh, it is getting backed up, actually. Hmm. I am a little surprised by that. Okay. I guess we do need all four of them. Run. So it needs 15. It's not stocking enough. Here comes Germ Dub. Everybody watch out. This airplane is really loud right here. If I, if I take this into my inventory. Okay, it, it maintains its uh, equipment grid, just like armor would. That's something. Okay, so we could have like a line of crates here. Maybe even not a loop of them, but just like, just straight to the left. Um, and then, then we gotta deal with this mess over here. This is not enough room to really squeeze much in. Oops. We could push this back a little ways. Um, so we want the port to be here still. So let's say we're taking empty crates off of here. What can we do? We want we want crates full of this. Yeah, you know what? I think this is. I think this is doable. I don't want to mess with it too much right here. Yeah, the big concern is what happens if we 
miss one. Like, what if... This is out of crates. Yeah, what if that happens, for instance? Okay, so this, this would circle into here. Yeah, I guess, I guess we would just intend to never run out. Like, that's the goal, is just never run out of crates. Uh, insert her capacity. I guess we need to get, we need to get the big stuff ready. Those are the three that are required. Absolutely required. I'm gonna take off braking speed. I don't feel, I don't feel like that's as necessary at the moment. Helps the throughput. I mean, if the trains are having an issue, we can add more train. No, 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 I mean it's a minor, it's a minor help. They get to spend more time being it helps fast. Them miners, you see. Um. This is super doable. The only thing is I gotta figure out how to get... Oh yeah, I forgot. Right now the crates are going on this as well. Ugh. Ugh. How do we... How is this possible? There's the battery crate. That's nice. Does that mean this is out? That is out of batteries. This is quickly running out of batteries. How's our boat? How's our boat buddy doing? It's unloading. Oh, but it doesn't have two... Yeah, I wanted it to wait on two packs of batteries before it leaves. I'm going to guess that we might be a ways off from that second pack of batteries. Actually, we're pretty close. Never mind. Batteries are actually being produced at a reasonable rate again. So yeah, this thing is going to time out, though. So I'm going to take all these charged batteries. And we're just going to run out of electricity on the platform. There we go. It got nice and quiet. But that'll let me uh, that'll let me work on this a bit, I guess. Um, okay. So we still want that to be this. We can filter insert to say empty crates come on here as well. So these empty crates are going to go up. Let's, let's take these up here um do i want to go ahead and do i have enough stack ins i do have enough stack inserters to <coughs> we're gonna we're gonna do it i'm gonna i'm gonna get crazy wild and crazy over here So germ dove, internet. Internet is coming. Yes, soon. That's exciting. It is very exciting. I've got all kinds of plans I'm uh, starting to work on for it. I'm excited about it. I'm excited for the plans. I'm excited for the whole shebang. Did somebody say internet? <gasps> yeah! And then studio audience applause, because Al <laughs> slides in through the door. <laughs> hey guys, I got a big date tonight. Oh! Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, sitcoms. Uh. Twitch.tv slash stops for films like for watch feed on it. <laughs> About to make this ugly before it get, it's gonna get uglier before it gets better. All right, crates. Ju that's just crate. 
we're gonna take the empty crates onto this? No. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get space science research tonight, if all goes well. Greens are running again. I guess we got another influx of iron coming. That's good. It helps. That gets a lot more labs running. Yeah, we got about half the labs online right now. That's good. How's our power use? Ooh, we may want to look at nuclear. Does anyone have any ideas of where to put a nuclear plant? We got plenty of space. What does it need? Plenty of what? Plenty of, um, mm -hmm. area? <laughs> space! Space! Thank you. Of course, anytime. What kind of materials does space. nuclear power need? What's that? Oh, kind of, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we need the. Uh, we've actually got a belt of U two thirty eight here, and we can use some centrifuges to convert a a seed stock of two thirty five and a steady flow of two thirty eight into infinite two thirty five. Well, as much as we get from two thirty eight. Uh, so we use a centrifuge to convert that. I think just one is probably enough to keep the whole plant running. I don't, I haven't run the numbers or anything, but it's not a huge operation, and and it goes through it pretty slow. Uh, we need to combine that with iron to make the actual fuel cells. Oh nope, I'm wrong. We need to combine it with lead plates now. It's different. Um lead plate and some of the 238 so we combine one 235 a bunch of 238 and 10 lead plates we get 10 cells that lasts us for several minutes on a full four uh uh four spot of uh reactors uh the problem is building the reactors takes a ton of materials actually let me grab there's a there's a good blueprint I always just copy. Uh, here we go. N nuclear power. 464 megawatts of power. Uh, that is four times as much as we're producing right now. Just copy that. Import that. And there it is. The blueprint. We need to build it, build it kind of close to water, because we need the uh, the pumps to be water adjacent, uh, and we want it to be kind of within reach of lead and uranium. So I'm leaning towards the south side. Uh, maybe this block right here would be good. We'll just need to pipe the water in. I'm gonna plop the. I'm gonna plop it down. Um, it's, it does something weird with the. Well, it's okay. Incoming, outgoing. Yeah. Then we want to process the spent cells as well. All right. There we go. I've I've put down the blueprint, uh, but it takes a ton of stuff. So many steam turbines. So many heat exchangers. There's a bunch. But we can gradually get to that point um is it my boat still waiting wait no it's got everything no it does not have an empty cargo technically of course not because it has mm, of course it doesn't have an empty cargo because it has batteries in it uh what does that mean I guess the big thing is I want item count of crates 
of cobalt ore to be equal to zero rather than empty cargo containers. There we go. That'll work. Bring in my two crates of batteries. All right. So this is actually going to be right here for the crates. Oh, no, no. We can, we can change this to be a filter inserter here to make sure that only crates of stuff actually get taken on. Uh, we want crates of stone, crates of copper, crates of iron. Have we made the that's just crate joke yet? Has that has that happened already? Like a lot of times? I haven't, but I gotta say something about that joke. Go on. It's just crate. Yay! He said the thing! Ah! It's not that crate. Nah. 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 I've heard crater. <laughs> oh, Al. That also was just crate. It really, really wasn't. It was not. Let's just keep. Let's just keep making this one joke all night. That's that's the rest of the night. Dove, I did something that you've been wanting me to do for a while. Which is? I upgraded the space sound. <gasps> My block! Really? Did. Space! Space! But you have to get lucky. Space! Not like hidden cat lucky, but... Just extremely Does... lucky. Do the, uh... Do the items that give Cosmos also trigger it sometimes? I guess they would. It, even like random sound could do it. If you happen to, it, it intercepts. If you are playing a sound and it happens to be the space sound, then with a certain chance, it will switch to a otherwise unobtainable sound. Do we want this lead to be plates for shipment? What lead? Yes, that's why I'm setting up this smelting. Oh. So. Oh, oh, nice. Well, you guys are just flying around so fast. I don't understand. And then oh, the, the copper nice. ore will yes. hopefully, if I've done these splitters right, will go right here. That looks. Oh, like that's ore perfect. Me. You've even got the uh, the input splitters set up. That's I great. think I did them right. Yeah, we'll see once it. the copper ore comes through. Yeah, it'll prioritize the copper ore coming from the uh, from the Beautiful. lead. That's great. That's this great. This cannot catch me. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to catch me, and they can't. No, you can't catch me. You can't catch uh, me. Then we've got to set up the containerizer and the ship and the train and all mm. that. But I guess we'll, you know, one thing at a time. Cross that bridge when we come to it. So this will be empty batteries coming out here. I'm working hard on making this work. This had better this had better be worth it. Empty batteries go in here. And then also any spent crates from here can go in here. And also also can we get an No, no. I don't think we well. Actually, we could. Um, and then the output of this, that's the problem. The spent batteries are supposed to go onto this belt. How do we make that happen? How do I get, oh, I see. It's that simple. Wow, I just put them on there. Okay, this might be the play. <sighs> it's a little ugly. Actually, no, it's cleaner than it used to be. I love it. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, this will actually work. Grab crates, grab supplies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yep, yep. Battery crates up here. Empty crates here. Lots of empty crates here. It's fine. The one possible bottleneck is that this can occasionally run out of empty crates because I'm relying on this 99% chance of getting a crate back. But if I just stuff this full of crates, then we'll be okay. If only you could put crates in a crate. Crate, crate. Or on a robot. Or on a robot. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. that'd be... Yeah. Obviously, they didn't... They intentionally, I think, didn't want that to happen. <laughs> yeah, as it turns out. Crates are going to I really back. feel like empty crates should be able to fit on a robot. Crates are going to be backed up. Space! Casual, you lucky dog. made it happen <laughs> what let me look up the exact chance and pull up visual studio here while i'm waiting for a boat to arrive that's gonna take forever no it's not that bad it's like 10 percent it's tim curry get over it the boat's somewhere in the fog of war which i don't like i don't want the that to be a thing that we have to deal with is the boat being in the fog of war. So let's uncover that. Space! Simple. Build more radar. Yeah. There he is. T two in a row? Wait, now I gotta try. Space! Uh oh. Hmm. <laughs> No, that was three in a row, and then it went back to normal. Just lucky. Apparently. Why can't I tell it to go? Wait, what? Oh, is this because... There we go. Okay, if you if you take the plane back into your inventory, it loses its remote control connection. Make the chance 1%, just so people aren't sure what just happened. There's an idea. Spice! We're gonna need so many explosives. So I can have a little bit of a backlog here if I do this. 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 Empty crates here. Because what this will let me do... Never mind, that won't work. Or will it? Question mark. How about this? Uh, filter inserter here that grabs crates and just puts them in a crate. No, that's a dumb idea. We'll think about that as a as a potential for the future. Okay, we're here. We're gonna pop these batteries in now so that things are running again. All right, we got two loaded battery containers, and hopefully those will get decontainerized in time before we run out of batteries. Just to save me a trip. All right, this thing is running again. Let's see. We've got a live test now to see if these actually will keep up. It seems like they're doing just fine.
Oh, whoops. Didn't think about that. That is something that needs to be addressed, is uh, we actually have to get rid of these items as well. And that's going to be an issue, isn't it? There we go. I guess I can just take this off. Because nothing else goes on this, right? No, this goes on that. You know Is what? that a RoboPort? I'm not sure myself. What's who's a RoboPort? That was weird. My uh, my boss decided to suddenly bring me uh, <laughs> belts. Oh well, that was nice of them. Okay, this is not running. Oh, because its output is full. with just more stuff. Actually, yeah, that is an issue. I guess we need uh, stack inserters for these to actually get them unloaded faster. that. I forgot I even had a mods command. Uh, freight forwarding. Ta-da! <laughs> oh no. Uh, mods. It's just some mods. It should just, it'll just say, yes, there are some mods. Good eye. Uh, let's see here. Why you do that? What is this? All right, so freight forwarding <laughs> adds in this lovely little uh, mini game. I mean, the whole mod is about uh, long distance uh, manipulation of, of resources. They, they start you out on a small island with some particular new resource at a distant side of it, lead in this case. Uh, and then once you've kind of brought peace to your home island, you're normally stuck, but it adds boats. So you have to sail off to distant islands to get more resources. Oil is only available offshore. It's mostly the same as normal. You, you pipe it and you, you load up a, tr instead of a train, it's a boat. There's our boat coming in. Um, so this adds a little bit of extra maneuvering of boat to train to base, which is fine. But this mess over here, I'm cobalt. This is a dredger. So this is all the room I have to work with. I have no way of getting excess room. Except for one very cursed idea that I tried last time, which was I, if I wanted to move some items from over here to here, you can't use undergrounds on the on the dredging platform, but you could technically, and I, I tested to make sure this works, you can just place a boat and drive it into just the right spot and kind of bridge the gap with inserters as though it was like a, a, a cargo wagon or a car. Very cursed, but it works. So now I'm trying to puzzle out how I'm going to get all four of these containerizers four chemical plants and the power all to fit on one platform and I think I'm pretty close now alright these are no longer working because it's out of cr crates again it's always the crates oh and see that's particularly bad right here Okay, I think what I should do is reverse these. 
Yeah. Yes, okay, there we go. So now it's got that done, and then that gets picked up, and that should get put on the boat. Excellent. How many packs of batteries do we still have? Wait, I thought you guys brought two packs of batteries. How are, where are they? You brought, you brought two packs of batteries, right? Okay, there's one pack of spent batteries, but that was already done. Where's the other crate of batteries? Did I lose it? Did I lose it? There's 1.8 thousand here. I am like fairly confident that there were 4,000 batteries on this boat when it got here. Surely it's not already gone through an entire crate of batteries. That just can't, that just can't be. But I'm not holding them, right? They're not on, they're not on my person. Let's assume that I just imagined an entire crate of charged batteries. No. The rate that this is the rate that this is going. I've I've lost it somehow, but I don't know where. Okay, that's fine. All right, this is working. With the, with the stack inserters, though, this single line is is managing everything just fine. The throughput is good enough at this point for the stack inserters to catch everything. No major problems to report there. Dredger is not backed up. Uh, there's a little bit of backup in output. What can we do about that? Anything? Do we need to do anything about that? I can think of some cursed things we could do. Yeah, there's like a significant amount of time where we're just trying to clear it out. <sighs> Aside from upgrading to uh, blue belts, I'm having trouble thinking if there's any other way we can get these supplies out of here faster. One horrifying idea is put it in a box. And that way there's more of a buffer. Oh, we're backed up. The, let me guess. Yeah, out of crates. Okay, the, the crate situation is getting out of hand. I mean, that's good, because that means that we're, we need more. Oh, yeah, these, these guys... Actually, that's an argument in favor of making sure that... Uh... Actually, that's a pretty good argument in favor of switching Cobalt to the end. I'm not opposed to that, actually. I'm actually going to do it. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, I've made a I made a small error. OK, it's fine, though. It's all fixed. I think I assume. Okay, so now that ensures that the uh, cobalt has the the most amount of crates available to it, which is important because we're going to be getting mostly cobalt. I love how I've now spent like three hours staring at this dredging platform. 
and I'm still not satisfied with, with where we're at. Uh... Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I brought some, uh, more solar over I'm gonna put down. Okay, that's good. I did lay some blueprints, but I haven't got around to... Uh, yeah. ...down yet. Man, every time I hear you guys just say, uh-oh, I'm, I'm well, filled power with went out. confidence that everything is fine. That's what happens. Uh oh. Yay! Everything's happening exactly as we intend. Okay, scoop this up into here. Okay. So, right now, this is not running. That's fine. It just doesn't have code. This is not running because the output is full. That's the problem we're trying to solve right now. Mushu, hello. Hello, Mushu. Germdub says hello. You heard him, but I said it so that Germdub <laughs> knew that you knew that he said hello. It's all very complicated. It makes sense. Um, okay. Is there a way I can do some splitter shenanigans to... You know, balancing that won't help. We're just waiting on it. Okay, let's do something really cursed. Everyone, hang on to your hats. This is going to be a nightmare. Oh, I can't do it because uh, of this last one. Well, maybe the last one's fine. Maybe the last one is not an issue. All right, let's see if this works, though. This is going to be really gross, but... But... Oh, no, it's not going to work, is it? See, this would work. Like this. And then... Let's replace this. This is super-duper cursed. Okay, I think this might actually, weirdly enough, this might be the improvement we need, unfortunately. This absolute nightmare. Oh gosh, it's pretty bad, but... Ooh, added bonus. It's It does split. Oh wait, it splits the wrong way though. Uh, hmm. Well, it's working. If we rotate this, we can split it this way, too. Is this, is this super awful? Like, right now, this isn't running because it needs more. This isn't running because it needs more. So here's the one we want to watch. It's this one right here. It's emptying out. It's emptying out. It gets stuck. It gets stuck. And it's okay. This one right here, it empties out immediately. I think this this is actually it. I hate this. Uh, I kind of I didn't mess anything up, but I planned poorly. Does anyone have any ideas for how I can make this work? Uh, I What's didn't realize that? that this was such a sharp turn uh, here. Um. Water fill is one this? idea. Alternatively, uh, I guess true. alternatively, yeah. I went too far out. Obviously, right. I get you. I get you. It's like we we want to get it all in one nice neat line, ideally, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, I would just change the waterway. Yeah, that's the trick. Is like to where. You want it to all to. What is that called? Waterway. Oh, it's called Waterway? It is. I don't know why I don't see that. Alt W. Yeah, Alt W is the shortcut for it. Unless you're looking for water fill. Don't look for water fill. No one looks for water fill. We have water fill. Does that connect? That does not connect. Oh, I'm just like looping it back underneath these islands here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess that makes sense. If this will work. Oh, that one. Okay, this one's going to be a little ugly. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. The important thing is as long as there are these guys, then it works. And then this can just kind of uh, boop. And then you're, you're golden. Cool, thank you. So bad. Uh, you know what? I am too, but I love it. Me too, Mushu. I didn't none of us, for help none of us have any waterway. idea what's going on. Love this game. Okay. I think this nightmare is finally solved. I remember playing this with Mushu once. Really? Uh-huh. How did that go? I remember playing this with Mushu once. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you just said that. You yeah. just said that a second ago. So weird. <laughs> Played co-op on your first day. It went horrible. That sounds like it went great. It's actually just a tiny bit of extra space, even. So if anything, we we win. Yeah, this is gonna hold out for a long time. There's enough uh, there's enough crates there to fill the whole thing. <sighs> batteries, though. I don't know where those crates of batteries, that extra crate of batteries went, and I'm very concerned. What? what did, it just deleted. I don't think it's in my inventory. Just, yeah. These, these, these go to the end. We were like, let's do this. <laughs> it's like, cool, I'll collect wood. Just like Minecraft. I'm gonna be very out of the loop on the uh, on the next Minecraft update. I have no idea what's going on with all that. Okay. I I think I'm finally okay with how this is set up, which means that. We need to basically double it. Give it to the next guy. Just don't give it to me. Give it to someone else. Cannot insert cobalt crust. Right. All right. Hold that thought, robots. I've got somewhere to take that cobalt crust. These stack to one, which is. You know, the worst. But that's that's the whole point of it, is that they stack to one, so everything has to be terrible. Okay. This is less cursed than I thought my final answer would be, but I'm pretty sure this is this is good enough. This has a lot of backflow for crates. Uh Conceivably, you could have the crate line separate. Bless you. Sorry about that. With a second filter inserter over here, you could get the batteries just over here, and the crates could go straight out. <laughs> Fart. That's what I. That's what I figured. Like right here. That was me not. Realizing that I was uh, muted and instinctually trying to mute again. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Are you sure it wasn't a fart? <laughs> I'm not trying to cover up a fart. That's what I hear. That's what this I is hear. It's a fart-friendly stream. <laughs> so, yeah. It's all. It's all cool. It's all cool. All of it.
Oh. Interesting. Okay, I did have 2,000. It's just that it doesn't show the last... So, I don't know. It maxes out the, uh, the amount it'll show you. Okay. I said, I said that was my final answer, and I lied. I lied like some sort of lying liar. batteries into here, not into here. Actually, do it this way. Batteries into here. Yeah, 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 because then we don't need this entire line. Not that it saves us anything, except it just makes things more compact. Yay? Also, that airplane is so loud. I could just turn the volume of the game down, but I'm just refusing to. Okay, yeah, yeah, having separate outputs kind of works in our favor pretty well. Does it? Maybe, kind of. It means that we could conceivably have a second discharging station up here that we could feed directly into from the containerizer in lieu of the crate and feed those spent batteries into the same place. Hi. Jeez. Just coming in from a, for a bombing run. Uh, and we could, I heard you wanted more noise. Yeah, I wanted more noise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for more noise. What? I said... So anyway, this finally gives us the ability to have a second discharging station if we wanted to throw productivity modules and speed modules in here, which would drastically ramp up the... Um, oh. Everything went wrong. Everything went sideways. What happened? What happened? Why did it back up? Wait, why are we missing some of these? How did it miss some? What happened there? That's not good. That does not fill me with joy. What happened? How on earth did this miss? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What I could do as a resolution, as a sort of backup, is say, uh, kind of like loop it back in. Except this is usually going to be backed up severely. But. up by two, and this up by two, and that would allow me to, I don't know, what would that allow me to do? So which side would this go? I've got crates in here. 
Okay, they're gonna be put on the right side. Okay, okay. Well, that makes me feel better about it. That's not as bad. I thought things were were bad, but they're not. I mean, they're still not great, but they could be worse. So what we say is excess goes this way. Things that for some reason didn't get grabbed by any of these stack inserters, which apparently can happen. I really don't know how it can happen, but it can happen. Are we backed up on iron somewhere? Like too much iron? No, none at all. No iron. Tray. Oh, yep, iron is gone. Uh, no iron crates. Uh, let's check the port. No boxes of iron here. Um, Germ Dove is flying out to investigate. Uh, boxes. Iron's getting a iron. Oh, yeah, there's. It's, it's making belts right now, so it's a little bit less iron than usual. Looking yeah, it's, uh, it's like filling up. Last. I can tell it to go ahead and just go with what it's got. Yeah. Just so we can get some iron going. Because we just added a bunch of stuff, it's like everything is sort of. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right I see now. what you mean. That's getting there. I'll hand feed it. Yay! Yeah, not a bad idea, honestly. Okay. Filter inserter onto here says don't take empty crates, I guess. I don't know. It, there should never be anything on here. So I'm just, I'm just gonna put a yellow inserter in there. Okay. And that's our that's our emergency. Something went terribly wrong somehow. Yeah, right there, right there. That one got missed. I think it's something with this sharp turn, but now it's okay because it's going to loop back around and get caught there. Okay, this is good, this is good. In addition, let's have a crate here to stockpile excess. Because that's gonna happen at some point, I'm sure. But yeah, that'll give us tons of this, tons of the stuff. All right, I feel pretty good about it now. Uh, let's just tell this to to move along. It's got enough for now, I think. I'd like to see this do a full run completely autonomously. Um, we have one pack of batteries ready. Do we have another on the way? 225. Uh, we're getting there. Maybe by the time it gets back to port, it'll have its second battery load. Part of me wants to say, is there is there some way? The the last piece. Well, I keep saying this is the last piece of the puzzle. No, this is the last piece of the puzzle. Is there a way, right now, if the batteries run out before the shipment returns with more batteries, then everything enters a deadlock and you have to manually bring in some batteries. It would be really nice if I could tell it, do not spend any batteries, Pat, like leave at least, you know, 300 batteries in the box unless, you know, you've got another box of batteries waiting to be unpacked, like something just got here. But that doesn't work, because if I tell it to stop grabbing the batteries and let the power drain out, I can't get it to turn back on unless something puts batteries back in. What could add batteries to... Could a burner inserter? Can you disable and enable a burner inserter? with circuit conditions? That seems pretty cursed. That would be pretty funny, though. Makes absolutely no sense, but sure. It would be very, very funny. This is not inserting fast enough. This is actually about to get backed up. What's going on here, guys? Well, do what we are we going to do with all these extra crates? We have so many crates. Oh my god. Oh, we'll need them. We'll need them. I 
Like, well, they're just like ba they're backed up on this belt here. Um, all the way over and there. And then uh, there's like 500 in this chest, and there's like 500 in this chest. Like it's so. Why are we making degrees. them right now? <laughs> We're not making them here at all. We're making oh, them. All these, are just the, these are just the, the oh, empty crates from the nice, copper nice. and the iron. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if it's possible to get them down to the port over here, because this is where I kind of need them, because I cannot make them on site on the dredging platforms. Pretty much coming to here, so we could just, like, run this belt uh, off to the side and down to the port, I guess. Yeah. Just run a big, long belt down here. I, I want to be careful and not actually put them on the boat just yet, automatically. I want to find... S I don't know how to do this. Yeah. But... I want to somehow regulate the amount that go onto the boat. Because if I just say, just keep grabbing them, well, that's going to be really bad because then it's just going to be full of them and I can't actually get supplies anymore because I have too many empty crates on the boat. Is there any way to carry signals over the water? <sighs> Not yet. Not until the next version, as far as I know. Huh. Um, yeah, which, yeah, that's really, that's really annoying, isn't it? All right, here's my idea. How about this? I'm just going to put them in a chest for now. Uh, I'm just going to create some buffer chests. Just there to you go. Sure that's fine. That things keep going for now. I need to do something like every time I take a crate off of the boat, that's when I can put an empty crate on the boat. That should be the logic. So I just got to figure out a way to do like a, a counter with a reset. I don't know how to do that at all. You can do that. Like you can have a, uh, uh, what do you, what do you call them? The, the combinators, you can have them feed into themselves. And that way, every time you pulse a signal to it, it adds it to its running total. I've watched videos where they make use of uh, memory circuits, but it's it basically be that that yeah. I, I I add one every time I take something off of the ship, and then that and then I subtract one every time I add an empty crate, and that adder that that crate depositor will get disabled if the signal is below zero. That's the idea. Whether or not I'm going to actually do that, I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to have my robots build a new dredging platform over here. It's not fully time for it yet. There we go. Oh my gosh, robots, I love you so much. That was beautiful. You did great. You all did so good. I am going to disable the waterway, though, because I don't want the boat to actually go to it yet. Uh, because right now there's no power there, and there's not enough batteries being made to actually supply two dredging platforms. Three thirty-one. Oh, we're running low on batteries again. Dang it! Wait, wait! I'm taking out the empty batteries. <gasps> That's the solution, is I need to unpack those empty batteries. That'll definitely help. I still need to be making them all the time, though, because we need to expand our dredging operations. So, let's see here. The next step. We have a lot of unpacking to do. Oh, hi, robots. I like how we're all just like <laughs> we have, we have we no longer use legs. We just fly around in planes now. <laughs> this is our this I is the default I state. disagree. I've got plenty of legs. Oh, okay. Oops. So many legs. I don't have this. Why do I have this cobalt crust? I should make sure my logistics request is set to make sure I'm always getting uh, more solid fuel whenever I'm within range of robots. I 
like whenever I lose track of my plane, I just click my remote and the plane comes like flying <laughs> in from off screen. It's really good. It's it can't really even stop good. itself on time. Yeah. I love it. I do like how it just like skids past its target. That is good. All right, I'm coming to get some of those uh, those empty boxes that are just hanging around in a box somewhere. Ah, well, there's some of them. That is a lot. Uh, okay, the plane or the or the boat rather is loading up. I'm gonna say, you know what? No, I'm gonna over I'm gonna overestimate for now because I know there's that crate of crates. Oh, it's got two. Okay, it's already got two charged batteries. So it should be good to go. All right, I gotta tell this to not take off the empty crates as well. My plane is being taken away by a, by a conveyor belt. Help. Put belt immunity on it. But then I wouldn't be able to have six pairs of legs. All right, we have cobalt. That's a good we, point. We need explosives. So I'm going to need coal. Lots of coal. I have six. Six? Six? Anybody? Six? Six? But you run out of power? No. What's your speed? 300. Too. I only have one battery. Mine didn't seem to be able to support six on one fusion reactor. 200 kilowatts. I guess if you were flying full speed all the time, you would not be able to support it. But with a battery, right. the battery it goes down slowly. Give you some yeah, true. support. All right, I believe you. I begrudgingly believe it. <laughs> it, was <not> <laughs> quite, it was questionable, but. You pass this time. I'm a little worried about how dense this train station is getting. Uh, I was gonna add on a lead train. I think it'll be fine for now, but you might need to it's expand a lot of out trains. It. It's a lot of trains on one track. Uh, we can we can go double double track. That's not too bad to do. Well, hi Al. Uh, just basically copy paste an extra lane to it, and then it kind of uh, like at the end it merges back up for the station. Yeah, like if we're worried about the actual throughput of all these trains coming through. I mean, it's not been too much of an issue right now. It doesn't look like. Hmm. It's not slowing us down yet, okay. but it will at some point. Speaking of slowing down, mm -hmm. uh -huh. did Iron Ship ever come in? Uh, let's see here. No, oh, no. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> you like to There's hear an issue, uh -oh, right? There's a little bit of an issue. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> what uh, is happening there? Well, as it turns out. Why is this on yellow? Okay, yellow to yellow to yellow? Oh! That buoy is... for some reason not actually attached to the line. Alright, let me go fix it. And I don't know why. It's... Oh, weird. So as a result, it it doesn't think. Is it the that shallow a, water? I don't Is think so. No, it's detecting that and the uh, and this. It's detecting these two waterways as not broken apart by a buoy. Nope. See how it's blinking? That blinking buoy means that there's there's a problem. I think the waterway isn't attached. Oh yeah. 
Oh, it's hard to see because it's there's a, there's a boat here. Well, it seems like it's all one. Uh... Let's see here. Yeah, this one, this one's fine. If they're attached, it's saying that that this that this boat over here is not on a separate section than this. Like the the buoy is not dividing them like it normally would. So the iron ship is waiting for that other ship to get out of the way. Let's see, there's a buoy. It's, it's this boo. It's the blinking one. Is the is the one that's causing issues. Is it because mm, one thing I noticed that's different is that. If you look like right here, um, the buoy hits land. Like uh, the buoy's, the the land is one space over here. Should I like? Uh, Dub's, gonna, to Dub's gonna fix some it space. somehow. Dub's gonna untangle this mess. I'm helping. I'm helping. Let's just get some water fill in. Just fill these little islands in. This this buoy is still blinking. Um, I, I still think somehow that is the problem. Is there can we play? Why won't it let me? Sig straight waterway is in the way there. It should be just a matter of place that there. Oh. Okay, so it just needed to be detangled, it's still, I guess. It's still blinking. Why is it still blinking? It's not. What? It said it was not connected to rail for whatever reason. I know, but like, why was it saying that? Oh, now it's connected to this rail right mm -hmm. here. So, for some reason it couldn't be here. It had to be here. Uh... Okay. Well, as long as everything's working, I yeah. guess it's fine. I don't know why. I don't know why, but... Whoops, I did not mean to drive the boat. I just want to drive my plane. <laughs> oh, nope. Nope, they got on the boat again. Oh, I'm, you it's know a what? thing. It's a thing. Yeah, I it's a you. thing. It's a thing. I, I done told you. I told you about the thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Are we having a problem? Are we having a problem? No problem here. Yeah. Hey, there's some robots trying desperately to get to Germ Dove. <laughs> I just saw <laughs> them be fine. hit a fleet flying across <laughs> the water. That uh, song playing. I need to get out and stretch my legs, and more importantly, not listen to the plane whirring constantly. Germed of. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Just pretend you weren't coming over here to make noise at me. Mm hmm. Nope. I. I all right. Nope. Can't even. Can't even hear it. Not. Not bothering me at all. It's, <laughs> it's fine. He likes it actually. Yeah. Actually, I, I enjoy it. It's my it's, favorite. Yeah, it's not soothing. Mm -hmm. Uh. All right. Explosives. I've never gotten a good handle on how much we're producing. I need to box these up too, now that I think about it. That would be a lot nicer. Uh, okay, okay. Tristy's running a little low out there, it's fine. Okay, dredging produces. We're gonna, we're gonna run the numbers again. Everybody loves that. All right. Dredging is producing 75 to 100 crust. No, 75, 75 seconds, it produces 100 crust average. Uh, we are getting some bonus crust that gets produced every time that we process it. Uh, we are getting a five crust rebate every time we process 15 crust. Bonus crust. Bonus crust. So running this 100 crust 
through this recipe. So for 15 crust, we are given the, the wonderful okay. opportunity to have 45 ore plus five crust. Um, so really it's 10 crust gets us 45 ore. Uh, so we're getting 45 ore per 75 seconds. Then we have to convert that to five cobalt concentrate at a 10 to, 10 to five ratio. So we're getting 22.5 concentrate every 75 seconds. Okay. And here's where the TNT comes in. For every cobalt concentrate, we need one explosive. So we're going to need 22.5 concentrate every 75 seconds. Uh, all right, 0.3 every second. Multiply that by the number of dredgers that we're actually going to have running. Because, and whatever productivity modules we're using to get more. But for now, let's just start with one one explosive per second and see if we can make that happen. Is that feasible? Can we make one explosive? Um, you get two explosives in four seconds from a chemical plant. That's reasonable. Okay, that's fine. And, and then 900 per second on a yellow belt or 900 per minute is plenty to keep up with that one per second request. So one one yellow belt piped over from uh, just one chemical plant to start with should do the trick. Wait, two explosives per four seconds. So actually I need two chemical plants producing TNT uh, using sulfur and coal. So here we go. And there's water right there. That's convenient. Uh, how am I going to get the sulfur and coal over? Uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fishing around. Water can be on this side. We will aim to get things in here, out here. does it hey, got a little lag spike oh no what have I done all right water is the next key ingredient that's trivial out everything else in and we can get by on just yellow belts it looks like yeah no problems there all right that should be enough explosives for this setup Okay, so fun fun time, little bonus for you guys. Um, I have some crates of ore. Iron uh -huh. ore, copper ore, and stone ore coming from way down here. What are we gonna do with those? <laughs> and they're they're not they're at the mainland? Yeah. Because I've gotta uh... take them off the dredger. 
I mean, I guess I'm in the middle of something, but like, I guess we can make some some smelters and like just send them up, smelt them like yeah. over here or something, and it's like uh, decontainerize de de them and smelt them. And, and yeah, I don't know. it's like I, the iron would be nice because uh, actually, it, it might be a reasonable source of just iron for concrete because uh, we don't have once once this mine is gone which is it's getting close to empty really close to empty yeah. we don't have any other iron for concrete yeah so we could use that for that copper is that's a weird one stone could be useful i mean i guess no matter what we do have to decontainerize them so we could set up some decontainerizing I mean, stations do we have to have to like what i could do i mean we don't have to with. do anything with them but if we want to do yeah. something with them that is the first thing we have to do we could just filter them off and just put them in a box somewhere. Yeah. And just say, I don't want to deal with you ever. Get out of my face. The iron ore I'm interested in using because There you go. Another source of iron is just going to do us good. Okay. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to filter everything that isn't cobalt. Um... Let's see, how am I gonna do make this happen? Let's temporarily make some sushi. Yeah, I think we just decontainerize it like pretty close to where you're where you have it at and then send it to wherever they need to go. Oh the batteries are here too. I forgot about these. I do I do want those battery containers. And those are gonna be very handy. We still have a lot of space left on this main island that could be used for anything. Yeah. The the tricky part is trying to keep everything vaguely in one spot. What if it's just smelters, like, uh, with, without any bugs? I think that in a normal game, you wouldn't have, like, belts of ore, like, going mm -hmm. across your base, but it's like, what's the difference? Yeah, There's yeah. literally no threat. No, you're, you're right, you're right. Spent battery containers. Unload them. You know, it's a jerk He's just always looming, you know? Let's get these batteries out of here. Lead is almost done. go that's everything okay so i want to stop let's do that okay we'll go a little bit further okay there we go perfect we're gonna we should just be using a lot more steel than we were, were before because we used to have excess iron coming from steel Mm -hmm. And then going onto the bus, and now there's like not even enough iron for the steel. Yeah, it's it's crazy how how much our our needs have gone up. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need to get more. I hate to say it, but we're probably gonna have to get another thing of iron and start like upping the amount of crates that we're sending or something. Oh like, boy. We're not really getting two full belts of iron. No, you're right, you're right. Two red belts. That'll be another project. I gotta finish the lead before I get distracted with another project. Yeah. Okay. Cobalt processing. Which I can do way down here because our final result is cobalt. Cobalt. Wait, is that is that the only result we get from all this mess? Uh, tailings water. What do we do with tailings water? Don't drink it. Okay. I was right about to suggest drinking it. We can filter <laughs> it for more lead ore and titanium ore, but not much. It's a pretty small amount, and it takes a long time to deal with it. 
Uh, so I'm going to need a lot of chemical plants, it looks like. I need more steel. Keep making chemical plants. All right, we're researching the rocket silo, guys. Neat. Neato. Okay. So the full process is first we need to wash it in a refinery, not a chemical plant. Oh, that that throws a little fun. Why that? Is that fun? Is that does that add anything to anything? Gosh, these robots are busy. It's fun. I'm making them less busy. What are they doing? What are they all doing? Working on nuclear. Oh, nice! Yay! Yeah. I like, I like that. Okay, we're fine. How much time will this refining take? In 12 seconds, I can process 10 ore. Um, how fast are we getting this? 45 ore in 75 seconds. I'm getting 0.6 ore per second. Uh, so let's see here. If we're taking 10 every 12 seconds, that should cover it with one refinery, apparently. It's also going to produce 100 tailings water to deal with. So if we're producing 100 tailings, let's say, every 12 seconds, uh, then we're going to need three chemical plants to evaporate for every refinery. Okay, so one refinery should do us for now. Oh, that was really trippy. I uh, I started walking and I was going really slow, and I forgot that I had disabled my uh, exoskeleton temporarily, so I could actually grab something with precision. Yeah. For a very brief moment, I experienced true slowness. It was awful. All right, so we're gonna have. I guess I don't need these. Ah, uh, cobalt crust. Oh, I hate these cobalt crust. All right, how's uh how's the dredging going? Let's let's pop in and take a look here. Batteries are really good right now, and we're about half full. Doesn't look backed up. I think this is running as intended. Yeah. I want to upgrade these to steel. I haven't seen it back up yet, but I know it could. It's not backing up right now, though. That's the important thing. And our big crate full of crates is still working just crate. <laughs> <laughs> it's never not funny. Uh, containerization speed. If we're unloading cobalt, how long is that going to take? going to take us 20 seconds to get 300 ore. Well, that's not going to be the bottleneck then. So we can just we can just take that right off. All right. So we're going to we're going to operate vertically here. We're going to make kind of a vertical stack so that we could conceivably parallelize it more. Unload the cobalt. It's also going to produce these crates, and we never know what to do with the crates. That's, that's the end of the story. Oh, you know what? I know what we do with the crates. We're going we're gonna to put them back on the boat. 
Actually, that, that's a decent way to deal with the... Uh, it's not a perfect count, but for now, it's going to be most of the way correct. Try to say all empty crates go back on the boat. It's going to be close enough. Uh, all right. And then we want to take the cobalt. We're going to kind of sort of treat it like a bus. A little mini bus going on down here. Let's get rid of this. Let's just do it this way. All right, that's going to keep up. We'll, we'll extend it if we need to. Uh, next step, the refinery. Things are going to get weird. So we have to deal with the tailings water. Gross. All right, so we need water. Water in. Need an offshore pump. So Dub, when you get internet, are you gonna do a are you gonna do a celebratory twenty four hour stream? That's what I hear. Wow. <laughs> I think so. Wait, no. That was that was facetious. Don't. I think I will. For a stream anniversary, you must do twenty four hours. That is in May, and that's when I would plan to do it. Oh no. Everything sounds like it's working out. It seems like the opposite of something that it sounds like the opposite of a good idea. That'd be what so much want, fun. Would it? Where do I want this lead to go? <laughs> oh, I guess I'll just put it on the bus. The lead on the bus, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Oh, iron. Always with the iron, isn't it? Hey, a box of batteries. Cool. All right, we're producing our first cobalt concentrate. Pretty small amounts. Wait a second. Is this, is this going to be enough? I mean, I guess it'll be enough, but I, I still kind of feel like I want more of this. Eh, we'll deal with it later. Um, speaking of dealing with, uh, I'm going to... This way for the dealing with the tailings water, uh, which we are going to pump into some chemical plants. Yeah, right. One, one above. So we'll go like this for the actual concentrate, and then the tailings water will be the next section. Jeez, this is such a process. It's like having to learn vanilla all over again. We need three of them to process all of it. I guess I'm going to try to expand some more iron down there because. Yeah, we could be getting more. Yeah. More is good. Oh, this produces regular water also, which is not right for us <sighs> okay blast blend is next okay so we got lead and titanium in random amounts something with those Should be enough to keep up with the tailings water excess. Um, and the next step is the explosives. Sounds like a blast. What do I make this in? What do I make the blast blend in? Is it just, it's just for once, is this just a regular crafting recipe? 
Oh, it is. Nice. And it sounds like we should, weirdly enough, be able to get by with just one of these. Uh, let's move that up just a little bit. Let's get up some breeding room. Okay, that's the TNT that's going to be right here. Okay. This might need to be running. Pr this, this, yeah, this one's gonna chew through it pretty quickly. But that's gonna finally produce some cobalt blast blend. And then what do I do with that? Is that how I actually get the cobalt ingot? Yes. We throw those in a furnace. And it takes a long time. It produces five ingots. So we're getting 22 and a half concentrate per 75 seconds. That's one to one with blast blend. So 22 and a half blast blend. And then the ingot, we need five of those to get one ingot. Jeez. Awful. Awful. And it takes 16 seconds to craft. Um, so if I'm getting 22 and a half of this every 75 seconds and I need five of them, uh, then I'm going to be running this recipe four and a half times every 75 seconds. Uh, it takes 16 seconds for the recipe to run times 0.75 or divided by 0.75 because it's going to be running in assembly level uh, assembler 2 which runs at a slower than usual rate. Let's round it to 20-ish seconds. Um, I should be able to run it almost four times, which is not enough. So we'll, we'll let, let's make, my final answer is let's make two, uh, two smelters. Wait, no, what's the smelting speed? What's the speed of a smelter? Two, okay, maybe one smelter is enough, but let's make extras because we can load it up with productivity modules. Uh, do we have electric no. furnaces? No. Where my lead plates went? Did I just not drop them off? Did I mess something up? Let's oh, see. No. Where are they? They must still be all on the boat. I can't see. It's in the dark. We've gone and left Al in the dark. Why didn't it drop off? Let's see. The age-old question. Oh, here we go. Don't need 50 of these, but... Speaking of age-old questions, what's our science up to? Ah, it's green. It's always green these days, because it's the iron shortage. We're, we're experiencing the great iron drought of, of March. And then we run into our smelting array. If it helps, I haven't been marching. I've been flying a plane. Oh, well, that does help, doesn't it? I assume. Probably helps. Okay, I think I fixed it. Just have to wait for it to come all the way back again. productivity modules in here. I want these running slowly 
but producing so much stuff. This is the last step in the process, so it's uh, a particularly important one. Okay, and that's... What are we at? Oh gosh. At the, uh, at the 27 hour, 15 minute mark of this save, we have created our first cobalt ingots. Oh, Sounds that pretty all? good to me. Yeah, it's great. So fast, faster than most people that I've uh, have no nothing to base that off of. <laughs> it's, it's fast though. That's the important thing. It's good. Yeah, that's a good time. I don't know what they stack to. Uh, let's see here. Fifty. Okay. So I can get uh, five hundred thousand, about two grand, six grand cobalt ingots in here. We need to finish the game. I, I've run this calculation before. 22 and a half cobalt ingots. A little bit more because there's going to be a few, probably a few one off things we need to make that need cobalt. Um, so this is going to be 50, 500, 1,000, 2,000. Okay, so 10 steel chests full of this is enough to beat the game. So that's another point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put uh, ten chests. Ten chests. And uh, we're just gonna beat the game. I'm not even gonna like pipe this automatically into anything right now. I'm just gonna go off of the of the idea that eventually we're going to actually use this for very important things. It's just we're not there yet. All right, how's this going? Oh, heck yeah, we are we are doing good on batteries now. Can't keep up. Can't keep up. This is good. This is actually particularly good. It means we need more energizers. Charging stations, I mean. I don't know why I went with energizer. Okay, so that's underway. Uh, and now the last thing we need from here. Oh, you know what? Something we do need. Something we actually do need. Um, passive provider chest for the electric furnaces. Because I had to go run off and grab some. All right. Cobalt is no longer being produced. Why? What did we bottleneck on? Oh, tailings water? Tailings water. That lead and titanium. Man, who knew? All right, I don't have a place for it yet is the problem. Uh... 48 inventory slots, 50 a pop, 2,400. So yeah, 10 of these on the dot. There we go, there's the titanium setup. Ooh, type, or I mean cobalt setup. Lead and titanium do not stock very high, do they? 15 ore. No, they don't. Is there any special processing for titanium and lead? Oh wait, lead. Lead's the one that that you uh, you wind up with copper. Titanium. titanium needs lubricant. That's for the mining, right? The ingot itself is just oh. throw it in a furnace. Hmm. That's something. I mean, I don't know exactly what it is, but. I, I could pump it all the way north, at least to the, the lead processing facility, which is completely backed up because we just don't need any more lead. What, what is lead used for? Let's, uh, let's take a peek. 
Well, great. Now that I got all the lead set up, fantastic. <laughs> Good. It's great news. I'm glad to yeah, hear that. Yeah, yeah, good news, good news. Batteries. It's used for batteries, isn't it? It is used for batteries. Um, it's used for ships, which, you know, we need to, in some in some cases, uh, solar substations. We haven't really looked into doing substations yet. Oh, uranium fuel. Oh yeah, the bots are the bots are doing their doing their stuff on that uh, random setup. Uh, so they're not placing it automatically yet; they're just putting the materials. That's fine. Uh, did you did you do the did you? I may have told you the trick about uh, setting up requester chest recipes. Yes. Okay. Well, I did, but then I changed it because I hate the way that it does it. Oh, because it like does a certain number or something. Yes, and it'll completely fill up a chest. Yeah. Monthly message. Ah, Hudson, a monthly message. Forty-one months in a row. In a row. Thank you, Hudson. Nice, Hudson. Nice. I appreciate your continued support of all of the Dobbs Works things we do here. Whatever that is. This is almost full, and it's not broken right now. Everything's everything's running. Output full. Hmm. It's broken. Hmm. Item ingredient shortage. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. As long as not all four of them are backed up. If all four of them are backed up, we have a problem. But if there's ever a case where one of them has an output full but the others just aren't running. It, there's not actually an issue. That's the takeaway. That's the real takeaway here. This is good. This thing is actually working. And I, I think it's about time to expand it now that the batteries are starting to back up a bit more. Oh no. Hmm. I just detected an issue. Um, well, detected. it's not an issue with the platforms, but it's going to be an issue when we have multiple uh, multiple ships going to different dredging platforms. And that is, I, I don't have a great way to count the number of boxes they need. No, no, it's okay. If I always give them the same number of boxes... Like, somehow, if I just say, all right, every time you're here to to come to the port and drop off stuff, you should take exactly, like, 80 empty crates, regardless of what ship you are. My, my old idea was, ah, for every, uh, I'll just take all of the stuff that the uh, Cobalt undoes. Why aren't we running? What are we running from? Oh, water. Dang it. Water. Okay, I can do this. This is a little bit annoying. Uh, it's a it's a small puzzle, but it's not it's one that I've solved before. I need a tank. Oh, thanks for the huge sum of money, Hudson. Good luck with your work. Get in the zone. Hudson zone. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take this water. Oh, not that water, apparently, because I got all these in the way. Dang it, I have all these inserters in the way. Hey, the lead boat's working now. Look at the massive amount of lead. This is probably more lead than we have in that entire... Oh, no. That entire patch. <laughs> yeah. So it's really... It's like... It just became obsolete. Well, good. I didn't like dealing with it. That's just one more thing we can decommission. Right, because that would be like, what, 8,000? Yeah. 80... Or 8... Yeah. Definitely. 1,000 in each... A lot. There's a lot. Yeah. Okay. A hundred tailings water produces twenty regular water. 
So I can't just feed it back and expect that to be enough. Instead, what I need to do is have a pump that only runs when uh, the thing is a thing. This pump will only run if Only run if the water runs out. Let's just say less than a thousand. So the water is free. I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't back up. There we go. I solved the puzzle. Incredible. Uh, let's add in more productivity modules now. Oh, I can only put one in a... Oh, no. I could put more if I had more. I'm going to load these up with productivity modules. This is what it's for because every step of this operation is gonna get get us just a little bit more cobalt than we started with on that step. Uh, can you not make this into, okay, I guess this recipe does not accept, hang on. Um, let's say I was making green circuits then I could use productivity modules. Okay, so this step we cannot use productivity modules. That's fine. All these other steps we can. It does slow things down a bit, but we can speed it up by just making more of the machines. It's that simple. Ingenious, really. To figure out how to get the water to uh, to to work both ways. Actually, this is gonna be super easy, isn't it? Just plug the water in here. Iron's getting backed up on the bus. No. Yes. Oh wait. No, good. Yes. It's good. Yes. Not. Do the <laughs> we have iron. It's the it's other good. kind. Of, it's Thank good. You. It's a good one. It's the good one, it's the good one this time. Yeah, no, yes. No, no. Oh, I mean, yes. <laughs> oh, good. That means we should be getting a ton of green science being made. Oh, sure enough. Actually, the uh, bottleneck is the inserter. Oh, can we upgrade this to a blue? Thanks, Al. You're welcome. I used your bots. <laughs> They're very helpful. Yeah, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's iron... Good. It's the iron cogs here. Boop. I wonder if I could just add another one. Or put a module in there. Module up those uh, uh, if it's running out, iron gears. Is, let's see, is it? It's not that it's running out, but it's just not making them fast enough for the inserters. That's what it's kind of bottlenecking on. Let's see here. Oh, it is running oh, out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, Plus, actually, I mean, right now, all the green science... Uh, Assemblers are running all the time, okay, so it's good enough. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> what a terrible, what a terrible place to run out of fuel in the intersection. Cool. Very cool. Grab some fuel. Uh, let's see. What's our science? Oh, yellow what science is now train? our problem. And who wants to guess why we're out of yellow science? It's blue chips. Yay, blue chips. Why are we out of blue chips? Wait, why are we out of blue iron? Chips? What? No. <laughs> oh, iron. Is this? Okay. It's sulfuric acid. And the sulfuric acid is out of sulfur. And we're out of sulfur because we're out of petroleum. What? Well, not out, out, but not able to keep up with the demand for all the sulfur. I guess a lot of it is because I'm making explosives full time now to do cobalt blast processing. Uh, so how are these working? These? Hey, Sega Genesis. Ha. 
Refinery. Oh, I see. I made a mistake here, apparently. There is a missing pipe. And here, I mean, that's not going to be huge because these are all running full time. Uh, what about these? The cracking, the cracking. Light oil is pretty full. Lubricant is pretty full. It's just petroleum. Uh, yeah, there's not much we can do about that. Uh, we're using a lot of crude oil. Trains are running full time. Um, hmm. Oh, gosh, the ship is only just now getting to the platform. Oh, uh oh. The platform is starting to run a little bit low. We may need to think about another oil platform, which is not hard at all for our current setup. We just need to build that setup again. Almost exactly. Like, we can copy-paste it. But yeah, this thing holds 200,000, and there's just not 200,000 worth of oil there. Yeah, that's a problem. Do oil rigs have module slots? Anybody know? No idea. Okay. Pump jacks do. Is this all running full time now? This one's not running because its output is full. Ah, right. Because I need to make. Uh... Oh, wait. Why am I putting productivity modules in these? I don't want productivity modules in this step. That's not producing anything useful for me. That was dumb. Okay, that's on me. Oil rigs do have modules, uh, three module slots. Three module slots. Okay, so yeah. we can throw some big speed modules on that. Okay, I'll do that. Um, and that will, it'll, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if this will work, because oil rigs make their own power, it says. But I don't know how much, like, if it can power the speed modules. If it, it can, that's great. Stress <laughs> test it. Yeah. Get away with. Two modules... Two of those speed threes would double its output, which is still not enough, but it will help. So we'll see. Like how this. Uh, nice also, all the oil trains didn't have like a weight thing, so they were they weren't really fueling up. I fixed all those, so they shouldn't run out of fuel again. Oh, nice. Oh, gotcha. Good in the thing where they just, like, left the station right away. Yeah, that's why it ran out. Got yeah. it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Productivity modules. We are multiplying our productivity by an additional 30% here. And then an additional 20% here. And that's it. <laughs> but that is multiplicative. Why do the oil rigs say they're waiting for space and destination when these tanks are completely empty? I don't get that. Oh, are they? Uh, this one says. Is it because I put the speed module in there? Well, let's see here. No, why is this? Wait, what's going on uh -oh. with this one? Wait a second. It's missing a pipe on the right. Oh. How long has that been like that? Probably the entire time. Oh, but... it's a special underwater <laughs> pipe. That's good news because that means... At so uh, as oil, as as uh, pump jacks get used, the productivity of the source slowly goes down. So at least we'll get more life out of this one. I gotta get some concrete for the pipe. Uh, there should be that. a box of underground or underwater pipes. Uh, they're on the network. They're on the network, apparently. I don't want. I don't really want that many of them, though. I just want the one. Take it. Actually, I don't see them. I don't know if we're making them or if they just happen to be on the network somewhere. I thought we were making them right next to the regular pipes. No. I was just missing one pipe. Oh. Because uh, they needed some weird stuff that I couldn't get over to them all easily. Oh, I see. All right. So how are we doing here? 
not great. Cobalt is a work in progress. We're making some, but very little. How can we get more made? Looks like our bottleneck is refineries. Oh wait, no, it's because I didn't have these turned on yet. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I think we got all our uh, heat exchangers. Oh, nice. And then some? Uh, you know what? Maybe I should go fly over and grab some uranium. Well, I put, uh, just to test it, I put one in one, two in the other, and three in the other, and it looks like they all are still working. Okay, that's good. So I think we can I just load them just all up with three. It's going so much faster. Infinite power, and that's it. Let's take a look over there. Oh, gosh. They, they're going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Now the tank's uh, getting some oil in it. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> oh gosh, the yield right now on this uh, on this area is seven hundred percent, compared to the one next door, which is forty five hundred percent. If we just like got a bunch of pipes and just piped these over, that, uh, that would work, right? Maybe you get. You get issues with throughput with long pipes, but maybe it wouldn't be a problem. Underwater pipes are expensive. What's the distance there? Oops, not far? Uh, let's see here. About 200, about 300 meters. Underground, or underwater pipes. How much are they? They're very expensive. Oh, geez, that's a lot of concrete. At 300, that's 6,000 concrete. Shh. We're so rich. I'm not even <laughs> worried about the cost. Oh, well then. Cost is nothing. I need to upgrade this to steel. All right. Let's grab a hundred of these. And zip over and let's build a uh, Cobarex setup. We do have Cobarex research, right? Yeah, we do. Is it any different? It's, it's regular. It's regular Cobarex. Oh gosh, I love being able to just look at things while flying and not have to just, just not have to deal. <laughs> okay, so after we get that, our last research item takes 2,000 science. So that's not really that bad. Uh, okay, so we're going to set that up over here. We need lead... steel lead anywhere easily. Mm, nope. All right. Give me that airplane. Is that the boat? Oh, the boat's here. Yay. What's it got? It's got two empty crates and two boxes of batteries. Well, that's something. We're getting there. Yeah, right now we just can't process it all fast enough. Coverex first, because uh, power is close to becoming an issue. All right, so for that, I need a centrifuge, and for that, all right, shopping trip, we need steel. Yum. Uh, we need reds. Hi, Al. Looming. Hello. Ominously. Just doing some inventory management in the, up in my menus. I get you. I get you. Uh, iron gears and concrete. Regular concrete, though. Oh, we're back to being out of iron. <laughs> it was good for a little bit. Things were coming in. That was that. We were living the good life. It's about to be increased. All right. We don't need the Coverex process to go super fast or anything. Uh, let's see. Let's 
see. How how fast does the uh, this thing accept? Okay, it's constant consumption of 40 megawatts. Uh, okay. And this is 8 gigajoules. So that's 8 uh, sec 8,000 seconds of a, of a watt. No, 8,000 seconds of a megawatt. And we're taking... Uh, we're actually going to take 40. Well, are, you times, to, are you converting it to gigawatts right now? Uh, something like that. 160. So 8,000 gigawatts. No, 8 gigawatts. Divided by the 160 that the nuclear is going to be using. So uh, each one of these. So we're going to need a fuel cell every 50 seconds. And that's if we're running all the time, which we shouldn't need to run all the time. Uh, so every 50 seconds. So every 500 seconds, we need a fuel cell. So I just need this to finish every 500 seconds. That's okay. We're good. Yeah, we don't even have to. We don't have to beacon this at all. Uh, I do need some power on it though. Uh, where's my long distance? Just attach that there. Let's grab a little bit of this. Okay, there we go. All right, so what does this produce? It produces both uh, some of that and some of that. I don't think I've ever done Cobarex from scratch, like on my own. So I need to I need to make sure I'm learning what I'm doing there. Uh, so since we need. So we need to take the output of this and make sure we are prioritizing it. So this is input priority from right. Uh, filter inserter. to take just the 238 out. There we go. So that, that is actually going to back up at some point. Uh, and then the 41 here. This is where it's going to get weird. So what's the easiest way to do this? Filter inserter to grab the 235 out. And we only want to make sure that at any given time we have 41 ready to go. So I guess we could kind of do... Let's see, how many items fit on a belt? Eight, I think it is. That would be a silly way to do this, is use belt capacity. But an easier way to do it would be to say only take out of here if, uh, here we go. Only take out of here if our uranium count is greater than let's let's give it a nice safe 40 i think that's that's reasonable yeah right now it's totally empty but it will it will work its way up actually really if this one stops pulling yeah i could say as low as like 2 or maybe maybe 1 but for now, this is fine. Uh, and then we're going to have our 
fuel cell creation, which needs lead. And it needs both of those types of, oh, it needs both of the uraniums. Ooh, okay, so maybe I move, maybe I move this to the other side. I immediately split it. So that we got some, we prioritize going to the right. And then we filter, insert, input priority left. That should work. What's that? Oh, nice. Thanks, Bone. Okay, so there's our 238 and our 235. Yeah, this is fine. Like, it's running a little bit slow now, but it doesn't really need to run very fast. It's running fast enough to produce way more than we need here. We can add speed modules later if we need to. Uh, lead is the missing piece, though. I'm going to try and sneak that through somewhere in this tangled web. Uh... This junk here, uh, this junk. Uh, I, I know I just grabbed a lot of junk somehow. There we go. I'll let the robots fight for it. Uh, we need a fast splitter. all good. Sorry that you're dying with the black lung. Yeah. All those days in the coal mines. I love getting sick. The children long for mines. <laughs> you're good at it. I'm really, I'm one of the He's best. a pro. <laughs> he loves it. Oh yeah, I got the I got these extra energizers here I can use. empty crate come from? No, nope. okay. That's where, that's where it's supposed to be. We're good. It was just coming from the cobalt processing. Three at once, though. It felt like that was three at once. Which is a little awkward. Uh, oh, maybe it just, like, finally managed to get that out of its inventory. I really should increase the speed of this processing. It's it's fast enough for what we've got, but it won't be forever. But it's really easy to set up more, so it's got that going for it. I, I set it up in a in a mall style. So I can just add more, add more linearly. A mall like. It's a, it's a mall like. Sorry, is it a mall like or a mall light? <laughs> it's mall light. I, I Actually, need to, to know. Get yeah. about it. I need to. I need to be very pedantic about this. It's very important. <laughs> it's to me. really important that we make the distinction. Excess tailings. Those already have the productivity modules in them. Nice, because I copied it. All right, so that should double the uh, the rate that we're using those. All right, 
to start thinking about beacons, even. <coughs> I mean, they shouldn't be necessary. But we, but with the excess power, we can actually make it happen. All right, go forth, robots. Build a power plant. Nuclear power plant. What do I need more of? So much concrete. Oh, neat. That train's out of fuel. Why is that train out of fuel? Oh, because there's actually not a... Uh, how is there not... Oh. Oh. We'll get there. All right, did we build everything? No, not yet. Heck yes. All right, I think they're, I think they did it. Uh, except for some substation stuff, that is basically it. And also, I don't want to run it this way. I don't know what the point of this is, but anyway. Also, this feels very unnatural, being able to slide through the pipes. Feels great. Just saying. It's so good. It feels good. It feels it's so good right. Thing. It's a it's a good thing. It's objectively a good thing. It's the best. Uh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. And so the It's the way the developers actually wanted it. Oh, the heat they, pipes. They mess up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes they mess up a lot. It happens. Uh, we need to make heat pipes, and a lot of them. Uh, that is... What is... Oh, okay, that's just what's in it. Let's give it a, give it a starting boost. How many of these do we need? How many heat pipes are here? 86. How much steel do these take? 10. So I need 860 steel. That is, in fact, a lot of steel. So why don't we just plop a requester down? And also, what are these stacked to? Oh, I'm so bone dry in materials. What do you need? I might have some some fifty. It's just power poles and oh, belts. Yeah. Always belts. Always belts. Oh, the power over here is is bad. Oh no, we're down to twenty percent power on these accumulators. It's supposed to go down. Yeah, but it's gonna go down all the way. I think. I mean, I think pretty it's soon, if out. you guys want, you can take all of this over there. All of. Let me see. All that solar. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna address this train that's out of fuel. Because I can do that. I've just been slowly adding to the solar anyway. Me too. Every time I come over, I bring over some panels and accumulators and add yeah. more onto it. I just added so much, but, uh... Well, are we gonna make it till morning, actually? We might. Yeah, we made it. We made it till morning. Okay, we didn't run out. It hey, barely, there we go. It barely hang, uh, hung in there. I am adding more electric furnaces, though. Well... I am confused by this inserter that's not inserting. busy what, what is working for train waiting for train waiting for train did this not make it to its station is that or no maybe it tried to leave the station and couldn't get out all right i'm just going to give this some fuel and assume that we're good all right we have lead we are going to make fuel cells and then pass it in here. Oh yeah, we need to actually have a reactor. That would be an important piece of this puzzle. Okay, reactor. 500 copper, easy. 
Why don't I just ask the robots to bring me 500 copper and then just go somewhere where I think they might be able to do that? They might not be able to do that. What? But it's on the network. It's mostly been taken. Oh, why is it on the network? I don't know. They've just been finding That's... it in places. It's, That's it's a lot storage. more than I expected. Yeah. I'll take it. Give me all of your copper. Uh, 500 copper, 500 steel, 500 reds. Ooh. And concrete, of course. In a batch of 500, if you can believe it. I was just doing flyovers. The I'm amazing fly now. Yeah, he's checking on stuff. The iron. Alright, so this is happening. They're, they're working on it. They're working on it. We're yeah, in that true. part of the game where you just can't get enough iron. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at. We're in that phase <laughs> of the game. It's, 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 so, somewhere between the beginning and the end. Yeah. So this is going to fill up immediately. I love, I love that the, uh, these two offshore storage tanks are perfectly enough for the entire tanker. So it's just the tanker pulls in, empties exactly 200,000 out, gets fueled up and leaves. And then it goes to the, to the other station where the same thing happens in reverse. Well, we'll see if they manage to fill it up that much, but it's, it's doing fine. Um, yeah, lab is still short on yellows, and that's going to be the petroleum, isn't it? For the... S maybe not. Maybe so. Yeah, it's the blue chips, and they're short on sulfur. No, wait, hang on. It's green chips again. It's green chips this time. Guess why there's no green chips? It's iron. It's the iron. It's the iron. It's the iron. Okay. Build a nuclear reactor. It's like once the ship comes and drops the 80 off, it's good for a little bit, but it mm -hmm. just like can't get another load back here fast enough. Yeah. So are we producing enough to have two ships take it? Well, dreamt up just, just uh. Added some it's more. not enough to so, even fill up that one ship quickly yet. Okay, so yeah, the, yeah. I think it's yeah. If that's the case, so we'll see how that affects it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do any good for us. There are some more iron patches uh, that we could. Or is there? Oh, there's one up here. Our uh, our foundry can very on. easily be expanded right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What are we taking in? Four red belts but they're not moving at full speed. Why is that? Why are they not moving at full speed? Like, be a slow, slow one somewhere, maybe? Um, hang on. Let me check my, uh, let me check the calculator. Uh, okay, producing iron plates uh we have uh wait what do we why do we have a second lane oh that maybe just for oh wait what is happening here what is the this the, awkward... the two on the right side i built the way i wanted to okay gotcha so let's see this block of 96 um should be enough to support ah four yellow belts now that we've upgraded to red belts we can double that 96 uh, furnace stack and it looks like we already have an extra 50 percent of that so we can just have another two columns and that should fully saturate it bothers me so much that this is one lower than the rest of them <laughs> this this stack is just one lower than all of them yeah. 
It doesn't it doesn't affect anything, but it's just uh, it's ever so slightly. But off. yeah, every two stacks is one red belt of iron. So right now we got six stacks. That's three red belts of iron going north. So we've got four red belts of iron ore. So we can technically throw in another throw in another uh, two stacks of furnaces if we want to keep up with the ore intake. So ore intake is not our problem right now. We're, we don't have enough furnaces to to deal with all of that. But it is good. Yeah, I've the... I just doubled up all the iron ore. Yeah, and that's what he, oh, he nice. added the uh, I see the, the lower one. So hopefully the boat should like be making more regular visits. Let's oh, hope. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, that iron plate. I don't know how long it's been in in port, but it's it's already got 59 crates loaded up in it. Yeah, it had 44 waiting for it when it got back. Mm. Okay. So then okay. that says that yeah, it, it could be a little bit more then. Well, <laughs> cuz so, we'd like it to be like yeah. closer to 80 probably. Yeah. Is containerization a bottleneck? I don't, I don't think so. Think so. No. I think that we need more plates before we have more containerizers because it looks like they're like just yeah. making it to the end of the belt and not really getting backed up. I would like to make a request that we untangle this uh, containerization spaghetti at some point, though. Do like I don't know. I don't know. I how think we could we do it. I think we could move some of the containerization further away so that there's not so much. Mm -hmm all on top of each other. That would be good, yeah. We, we don't have to do it all right next to the port. It made sense when we had one, <laughs> when we were just getting titanium plates and barely enough to to do anything with. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, what would be a good design? It's hard to go, like, very wide on stacks because you need, like, an entire belt of plates to supply one containerizer. I think what I did with the lead, although I do see a mistake with the lead. Some of those those inserters are facing the wrong way. I gotta go fix that. It's kind of like... Let me see. Hmm. Let me, just let like me one just... red belt can supply two red containerizers, like, pretty perfectly. Is, yeah. Uh, just based off I'm gonna do, like, a little it. test pattern. Over, I'm just doing some ghost building over here to kind of, like... So I've been, making them, I've been like making them in pairs. I think, yeah, I think this is a pretty good design. That I, I do like that. So one red belt feeds two containerizers pretty well. That's what it seems like uh, to yeah. me. Okay. So maybe what you maybe what we want is like. Something like that. Hey, Al, do you have electric furnaces? Let me see. No, uh, I have a little bit. I have 16 of them. Do you need 16 uh... of them? That's, so that's almost everything I would have wanted. <sighs> Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you got to feed I'm containers. Six more. You got to feed containers to this mess as well. Containers coming in and then containers going out. Empty containers coming in. Um, you could, okay, so something like this maybe, and then you could stack another set of eight for uh, for the next material. Okay, here's my here's my mock up. What what do we think about something like this? Bring in four belts of a, of a material to a single stack of eight containerizers. Yeah. The actual output of containerizers can be pretty slow, so we do, like, a single... Actually, I want to make a slight change to how we handle the uh, crates, because that would be a ton of crates backed up. Like, so much steel worth of crates backed up. But ultimately, probably necessary. But I don't want anything waiting on crates for too long. Um, but yeah, and then and then just the containers going out the right side, the filled containers. Dubs, do you see how many containers we have sitting around here? I know, I know. 
Um, maybe you could uh, flip one of them so that the containers are going in the middle and do like a just a tight Ooh. sushi belt. Actually, yeah, oh, that's, yeah. A, that's a, a lovely idea, Al. Uh, do something like this. Oh, that's oh, you know what? I like that a lot more. Good call. Yeah, I like that. Looks nice. That's that's clean. It's it's stackable, and then you're gonna what you're gonna end up having though is these massive uh like four four long uh red belt setups feeding into this thing so it's going to be a huge bus of materials uh but well, I, that'll have to be another night project then uh, yeah working yeah. All that for sure yeah but that would be very nice very clean i don't think i should leave this out here because <laughs> someone's gonna walk might fly over it yeah uh, take all my belts out of my inventory i'm gonna i'm gonna blueprint it for later so that we can we can f fall back on on that. Yeah, I think just because like we kept adding on to this, it got so messy. If we like just yeah. built it all with, uh, with the whole big picture in mind, mm -hmm. it could definitely be much better. That's it's gonna eat up a lot of room, so we might want to consider moving containerization into this field here. Because mm -hmm. uh, that that would actually fit multiples of these stacks and we've got all the resources coming here anyway uh maybe we set it up with the with things moving instead of to the right like in the blueprint moving north because that's the direction everything's already flowing and then we just kind of oh, wire yeah. it all in with I just have like a little bus of, mm -hmm. of containers going to the boats yeah and that way everything's pretty well established to have uh four fast belts coming in of any given resource and if we need to add an additional four, we just throw an extra, throw an extra on. Okay, well, here's the good news: is that it looks like it, this train is a. Oh, it's not going to deliver that. I'm going to send it. It's bringing more iron now, so it almost has like caught up to having a cycle. It's like a little bit behind on, on a cycle. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. May as well just grab that extra four. We we'll need it. Get that influx in before Get it over there. The... I mean, actually, we got a pretty good sushi belt going yeah. right now. So we, we've if the boat can okay. get here before that runs out, mm -hmm. then it might start to not run out of iron every five minutes. Yeah. All right. How's our Kovarex setup looking? Oh, we've got ten fuel stocked up and ready to go. This setup should be fine. All right, so what I'm going to do is get these last remaining resources for the final nuclear reactor, construct it in my pocket, and carry it over. Oh, right, the heat pipes, too. Okay, we've got enough. All right. Built. Gotta carry the heat, you know. Alright, now if I cared, I would put into place some kind of uh, setup that would actually deal with the excess uh, heat because we're actually going to be losing some fuel potency by just, like, spending it when we don't need it. That's the thing with nuclear, is it doesn't matter if the steam boilers are already full. Um, it, it keeps consuming fuel and trying to make it hotter, even if it's already maxed out. We could do some shenanigans to... Uh, deal with that but it's not worth it because we're just going to be we're, we're going to have so much fuel uh reprocessing gets us 238 out of this so if we want to we can get some bonus 238 with another centrifuge uh okay, 50 
Sixty steel. And a hundred reds. And a hundred concrete. Alright, I'm throwing the I'm throwing the ah, the autosave got me. I'm throwing the fuel in. We're gonna start getting some nuclear online. And that is going to be super good because we won't be having to uh, send that solid fuel over to the existing setup anymore. Uh, we've been eating up a lot of our light oil that way. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it off. Uh, let's see. Forget to refill, to refill your plane. That's a good point. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to keep it running, but. Oh, I've got a logistics request on mine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Uh, okay, so we are using it for cooking. On the plane? Cooking. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a logistics network. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. I guess because it's capable of, like, having bots, you can do that. All right. Cut that off. We're using some of this solid fuel for making the stone brick still, which is a little bit silly. Uh, and then it's being used for all of the trains. Yeah, that just passes through. That is fine. Cool. Dobbs raid. I feel like tonight was actually f f pretty good with all this stuff. I went by insanely fast. I mean, it always does, of course. Victoria is a time machine. It's magic. All right, nuclear fuel repurposing, and this is solely so we can just kind of get rid of some of the excess. Let this fuel, uh, let this ore, like, run through, and then we'll delete it. There we go. Reactor's heating up. Hmm. I wonder if I should have waited a bit before cutting off the solid fuel until the, uh, nuclear was actually fully operational. That's probably fine. All right, how's our cobalt looking? Eh, we've got about 400 cobalt out of the 25,000 we need. Um, bottleneck is, oops. <laughs> bottleneck is, I never actually hooked up those last two new refineries. Well, I, I did hook them up. It's just their output is full. So they were never able to actually get rid of their excess wastewater. Now they're running. I guess we probably want, if we have four red belts of ore, we probably want maybe one more lane, right? Because we're feeding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven belts of ore. Does that make sense? Where now? Each one gets a splitter. Oh. Uh, what? Where are we at? Uh, yeah. Oh, over here. Ooh, we got an achievement for making a million circuits or something. Hey, nice. We did it. We did a million circuits, everybody. Congratulations. <sighs> Have you guys flown over the uh, southern island lately just to make sure that everybody's despawned down there? No. No. I mean, I'm sure it's I, fine. I have not done that. I trusted the it, game mechanics, but just curious if everybody else does too, I, you know? I see a little thing up north here that has uh -oh. me wondering. The empty What's crates that? are starting to run out over here. Worms. Oh, worms. Yeah, worms are fine. 
Oh yeah, this is... It's all empty. Nice. It's just a lot of worms left over. All right. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good thorough job of getting all the nests. That is a lot of worms that are still just hanging out for no good reason. I mean... We could take them out. So I mean, we can, we can easily take them out. Even the lasers can get the worms. Does the uh, acid slow you down much in the plane? I assume it does. It... not that bad. Less noticeable. Oh no, I... I'm not... I'm, I'm not future-proofing this part here. We need to do something with the titanium. And the... I should just throw it into a, a really crappy furnace setup. Just a... anything that can do something with it. You can fire cannon shells so fast in this thing. Yeah. It's absurd. <laughs> well, not even the missiles, well. the cannons. Like a tank cannon firing like a hundred <laughs> rounds a minute or something. Like, it's insane. You choose through those resources. That is ridiculous. This thing just decimates. Uh, we still have one island to actually clear out that we need to claim. That's a donut island up here. The old, oh yeah. The old lumpy donut. Definitely gotta get some ammo. It's a, there's a lot of nests there. We don't need the whole thing cleared, but it would be nice to not have to worry about a perimeter. Although, we could, we could get a very nice... Well, never mind. Shallows. I forgot about the shallows. They can just walk through that. This game is busted. Alright. I think I'm feeling really good about the... Uh, the dredge platform. Um, I think we are going to be able to set up a second one very soon. Uh, batteries are looking good. We've got backed up batteries. Still don't know what to do with all this stuff over here. I don't know what to do with that right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was gonna set up containerization over here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Just build it all and all then right. delete everything later. I gotta go to bed. Yeah, me too. Stupid work tomorrow. Ugh, work. Bum, they're having work again tomorrow. Yeah, it's like, again? We just did that. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, think this is, I think that's enough of this. Uh, oh, one quick check. Power sort, power grid. Um, power grid. How's our heat? Are we producing heat? We're not producing heat yet. Oh, crap. <laughs> did uh, you uh, maybe want to hook the... The regular steam back up? Nope. It's fine. Uh, you sure? Yeah. Everything is fine over here. Just need... No input. Oh, that's because <laughs> it's not. Yeah. As it turns out, Water, pretty water important water ingredient. Steam. Yeah, <laughs> this is the, one of those just add water nuclear setups. The good thing they didn't simulate like a China syndrome type of thing. Everything's fine, first of all. Got a little bit of water now, and that means a little bit of power. Uh, it's thirsty. Grab some more pipes, and then we'll call it a night. We're at ninety percent rocket silo, so rocket silo will be researched like first thing. I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, we're we're not ready to launch a rocket. Yeah, but. <laughs> Almost though. I think yeah. we're kind of getting there. A couple more, and we could probably launch it. We just try to like push for it. Yeah. The big the big problem with it 
I'm gonna get those stupid lava things going. The Titan Steel, yeah. Yeah, 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 but that's right. I right about now, that step. we can't even create a uh, a thing. What do you call them? Uh, a silo. I forgot they added some extra stuff, yeah. Yeah. That's, they keep getting us with that. Like, the hee hee, there's <laughs> more stuff now. Hee hee hee. This has been a good mod. I do like that. It's been fun. In a way. It's been fun. Okay, there we go. I think iron's actually got, is getting caught up. I think the stuff that Germ added. Yeah. Is enough to stabilize it for now. Yeah, because it's already at 62. It's going to be taken off soon. If we, uh. Once we get that. that they can be in a little setup. bit more very easily. Yeah. It'll be nice, yeah. I'm gonna just copy and paste our entire base and then move it over there mm -hmm. to this island. I love it. That's the way to do it. More coal? Was that on this do list? It was. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things we need. What? What? Oh, I guess we don't have any coal anymore, do we? Never mind. Uh, we got so 500k here. So we're not out yet. What are we? Oh, explosives. Classic one more thing, Factorio moment. Yeah. All right, there we go. Okay, <laughs> now let's check our power. Perfect. We have half a half a gigawatt. Oh wow! Great. Yeah, we're not we're not using any of our power over here anymore. All right. This was very fun. I'm very excited for the next time because I feel like we're we actually got a little bit of a step up the tech tree, however small. I don't know if we'll start Titan Steel next time, but we're definitely on the right track for it. I need to ramp up cobalt production a little bit, and then we can yeah. we can see about it. I guess, if nothing else, we can uh, bring peace to the Northern Island. We're just putting out fires. Yeah. So everything gets slow, is slower than you think it's going to be. We never used bridges for trains. Just bridges noticing. are a thing? Yeah, we researched those like the first day. Hmm. <laughs> we never found a use for them. What what would you use them for? I know, it's weird. I guess in one of these examples they've got is they've used, I assume, water fill to make a canal so they could bring their boats like really close to their stuff. Eh. Yeah, it's like, eh, maybe, maybe not. I mean, the boats are too slow is the problem. Yeah. And if you've got it sitting there, I mean, mm -hmm. eh. Yeah. I don't like it. Anyway. All right. Okay. Have a good night, guys. See you. See ya. Everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.